you know, when they can't control you anymore, they'll control how other people see you. How much blame can you really put on the other person because you allow these things to happen? And that's part of taking account of taking accountability for your own actions is acknowledging that, you know what, I allowed you to do this to me, but I'm going to forgive you and I'm also going to forgive myself for letting you do these things to me. Hey guys, what's up? It's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about relationships and this little internet drama that's been going on for the last like day. Um, not with me, obviously. Yeah, with certain YouTubers. It's been some shit that's going on and I just wanted to speak my um, opinion on it. Um, you know, it's quarantine. I'm stuck in the house. I have more time than usual. So, you know, I just felt like making a video on what I thought about the situation. And yeah, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe and let's get into the video. I'm just going to be doing my makeup um, and chit-chatting with you guys. I'm not going to be talking about the products that I'm using, but I will have everything listed down below in the description box. So if you guys are interested in any of the products that I'm using, I'll have everything listed down below. So yeah, let's get into the video. So today I want to talk about some stuff I've seen going around on the internet. Right now, you know, we're all just sitting in the house bored and we ain't got nothing to do. So I've had a little bit more time on my hands than usual. And usually I'm not too invested in, um... YouTube drama or like celebrity drama or anything like that. Like I do follow the shade room on Instagram. So, you know, I see little, little things, but I'm never really that invested in anybody else to care too much. Since I'm in the house and I don't have anything else to do, I was, you know, catching up on some YouTube videos and I was watching um, Jayla Corian's video um, that she posted her life update. And, who child, if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, I'll leave the video down below and the other videos that came after that one, because it was some tea, some tea was spilled, okay? So, and like I said, I'm not really too invested in other people's lives where I really care about what they got going on. And just to let you guys know, all of the things that I'm saying in this video are my opinion. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, then you can click off this video. Um, or you can argue with me in the comments, whatever you want to do. I really don't care. Yeah, I, um, seen her video and she basically did a life update talking about having fake friends and how she was still dealing with stuff that happened like a year or some change ago. And in the beginning of the video, she was like reading a text message about somebody trying to expose her, who we later found out was the ex-boyfriend. Um, and I got a lot to say about that too because <clears throat> I feel like it's so important to know your worth um, because these guys, they do not care about you. <clears throat> they do not care, especially if they haven't like shown you that they care. Like these guys, they don't care about you. They don't care, they're all for self. And I feel like a lot of guys look at a female and see what they can get or what they can gain. And it's the same for females too. A lot of females um, will, you know, only be with a guy if they can gain something from him. I mean, you should be gaining from the person that you're with anyway, but it should be an equal kind of thing. It shouldn't be one-sided and it shouldn't be where one person is taking <clears throat> you know way more than the other person so and i'm just speaking from like my own personal experience like i that's all i can speak on so like i said i don't know everything that went on behind the scenes i don't know like what led up to all of this but i honestly feel like the ex-boyfriend played a big role in why she was no longer friends with Missy and the Baddie Twins. And I mean, that's just my opinion, but not taking the blame off of her for like what she has done in those relationships. Cause like I said, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know this girl. I'm just speaking and saying my opinion of what I think happened. I think that he played a big role in why they were no longer friends. Because if I remember correctly, around the time that when she started posting him was around the time she stopped 
hanging out with the Betty twins, which was like around the same time that she moved to that new apartment. And I just think it's crazy that nobody peeped that. And I also think it's crazy that Missy and the Betty twins actually like defended him, saying that he was a good guy because come on now, we all know these toxic men or narcissistic narcissistic men will make themselves look so good and you know when they can't control you anymore they'll control how other people see you you know he saying that he want to expose her and post her eviction papers and all kinds of nonsense and i'm just like what do you gain from that like even if she said whatever she said about you in her videos clear your name up you know address that but trying to expose somebody and you know when they're obviously she's going through a low point right now in life you know mentally she's obviously going through something so i feel like it's just real it was just real shady of him to post the video if you guys don't know what i'm talking about he posted the ex-boyfriend posted the video on instagram basically saying that she um was about to get evicted he had the eviction papers and he didn't want clout but he would do an interview with somebody if they were paying or something like that and i'm just like that's some shady shit like and you know if you guys were if you guys seen the video you also probably seen that he posted another video um on another page you know a very personal intimate video of her and it obviously was him because first of all he was the one recording it and it had his instagram name in the video like why would you put your like come on now it's just this is dumb it obviously was him and obviously she didn't know she was being recorded so i just think that was really dumb and i know a lot of people were like i know a lot of people will probably probably say that i'm being joe or whatever but i'm in the house bored you know people post their personal lives on instagram or youtube i can make my own personal video on what i think you know what i mean this is my opinion so i just think the ex-boyfriend had a huge role to play in why her and her her and missy and the betty sons are no longer friends um like i said that's just my personal opinion i know a lot of people um, we're saying they stopped watching her like a long time ago because they feel like she was stuck up and blah 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 and she might as well be all those things but that don't get that doesn't give somebody the right to expose you and try to tear your life apart you know what I mean so and I feel like I feel so strongly about this because I was in a similar situation with somebody who was like a toxic abusive person and I know the kind of games that they play they will try to make it seem like they're going to ruin your life. They're going to post all this stuff about you on the internet. Like, you know, just make it texting you, like threatening you, making it seem like they're going to ruin your life and all kinds of stuff. Like they really, it's all manipulation. It's all, you know, it's all mind games. <clears throat> and I just think it's fucked up. Like that people can just can't take their L and move on. Like. Like, it's just crazy that men can be so jealous and, you know, hurt. Like I said, I don't know the situation. I don't know what led up to everything happening. But, um, it seemed like, you know, the ex-boyfriend really just has been harassing her. And, like, I, I just know what it's like to be in a situation where you feel like, I don't know. I just know what it's like to be in a situation where mentally you're not really, you're going through something, you know, going through something mentally and then you have somebody who's trying to like tear you down and tear your life apart. It's like they feed on you not having your shit together. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I think it's, that's just goes back to why it's so important to know your worth because if you don't know your worth, like you'll literally just accept anything. You'll be, you know, with somebody who you know is not good for you. Because the signs are always there. Those red flags are always there. And we just choose to ignore them because either we're lonely or, you know, sometimes we get in too deep and it just gets harder to leave. And, you know, the person has manipulated us so much to the point where we 
feel like we can't function without you know that person i don't know i had so much on my mind yesterday when everything transpired so i should have filmed this video yesterday like when everything like first popped off but that's one thing i could say these men are definitely smarter than we give them credit for like <sighs> he had to have been playing a role you know for her to um you know for it to get that far um i don't know man i just think it's just crazy how men will really play on your flaws and your weaknesses just so they could you know just for personal gain like and the fact that he even made the video and the things he was saying just lets me know he ain't shit because it's like if you really cared about this girl regardless of whatever happened like you not going she didn't even really say anything about him she just said that he was a horrible horrible for her or something like that and then uh, the only other time i remember her saying anything about him was um she kind of insinuated that he had broke her arm she never really said it was him but she's kind of insinuated that he was the one that broke her arm and we all kind of put two and two together if you really are freaking frequent watcher of hers then you could kind of put two and two together and know who she was talking about but that doesn't give you the right to go and post an intimate video of me online for everyone to see that's fucked up especially if we were in a relationship and then he said something on instagram about her being on the sugar daddy website or something like that and i'm like this was supposed to be a girlfriend how is she on sugar daddy websites and y'all were dating like i don't know and he was saying that she was broke and blah 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 and i'm just like bruh bruh we know she ain't broke I mean, granted, you can't believe everything you see online. Like, sometimes with certain people, lifestyles can be fabricated. But we also know she's not broke. Like, she obviously got some kind of money to afford, you know, all these places um, that she was staying in for months at a time. So, I don't think she was broke, honestly. I think he was just talking out his ass and, you know, wants to make her look bad for whatever reason. Because their relationship didn't work out. And. Which is like. I don't know man. Like I said it ain't really my business. But. I just got to say my opinion. But like I said it's so important for. You to know your worth. And know like. You know. That you're worth so much more than. Some ain't shit guy. Who don't give a fuck about you. You know, and sometimes it takes for us to go through certain situations for us to realize, like, damn, I really been dealing with people I shouldn't be dealing with, you know? Like, these people are not worth my time. They're not adding any value to my life. It's just sad that we got to go through. As women, we have to put ourselves through situations in order to learn what we need to learn. That's not taken away from what she did because at the end of the day, you have to take accountability for the role that you play in certain situations. Just like everybody else was saying in the video that Jayla had posted, she didn't take accountability for what went wrong, which is why the Betty Twins and Missy decided to post the video. Because like, you're not going to sit up here and play victim and make it seem like it was just us. when you had a role to play in it too. And it's like, honestly, she shouldn't have even posted it because it should have been a phone call. Like, you should have reached out. If these people were your friends, it should have been a conversation that was had. Like, listen, I really didn't appreciate blah, 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 and da, 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 da. I feel like on all sides, everybody was wrong because nobody was communicating, like, even in the beginning, like, when boundaries were crossed or people felt like they were not, you know, getting what they deserved out of the relationship, like, that should have been communicated early on. And it's like, if I tell you that you're not, giving me what i need for this relationship to work and you continue not to give me what i need for this relationship to work then it's like all right we can no longer be friends because you know i'm sitting here expressing myself to you and telling you what i need from you in order for this relationship to, su to succeed and that's what friendships and intimate relationships and if that person is not willing to compromise or work on themselves to make the relationship better then they're not worth your time 
But like I said, nobody. It seems to me that nobody really had a conversation and really called her out on the shit that was going on. Because if somebody is doing something and they feel like they could get away with it, they're gonna keep doing it. And you have to establish boundaries for yourself in all in all relationships. And I'm not saying that I do this all the time because I'm still working on working on that myself. But it's also a part of being self aware and realizing like when you're giving too much and also when you're taking too much from other people like if you're if you feel like you're doing more for one person or for a person and that person is not reciprocating the things that you're doing for them or not like they don't appreciate you know what you're doing and I feel like that should be a conversation between those two people and if that person is not um, willing to fix the issues that were addressed, then that person is not is not a real friend. From what I've heard or from what I've watched in the videos and listened to, it seems like no one ever communicated that to her to say like, hey, like you, you're not being a good friend right now. Like sis, that's not cool. Like, I mean, I don't know. Cause like I said, I don't know all the conversations that were had and it could have been said, but like I said, I don't know. So, I just feel like in friendships, if that person is really your friend, you should hold that person accountable. They also should help hold themselves accountable, but a lot of times if somebody doesn't realize that what they're doing is affecting someone else, they're going to keep doing it. You know what I mean? Like, because like, well, I didn't think it bothered you because you never expressed to me that you had a problem with this. And I also feel like the ex-boyfriend was the one who took the phones out on her account I just feel like it was him because he just seems really malicious and like he just doesn't seem like he gives a fuck about that girl you know I know when people get hurt and you know they start doing crazy stuff but ladies it's so important to know your worth as a person like it's so important to hold yourself to a high standard and not and also I feel like when you're in a toxic relationship or when you get out of a toxic relationship, you can't just go to the next relationship. You have to take time to yourself for you to heal and for you to build yourself back up because otherwise you're going to be on to the next relationship with the same problems and doing the same thing. You never really took time to look back and reflect on yourself to see like what you did wrong. So you just jumped into the next relationship and then it's like, well is always going to be the other person like that person is the one who this is the reason why our relationship didn't work out this person and i just keep picking eight shit niggas because you're not taking time out to really get to know yourself and get to you know spend time with yourself and you know love on yourself and just deal with your you know deal with your own demons and figure out what role you play because yeah a lot of times we can get into a toxic relationship with someone and we can blame them for you know doing certain stuff to us but we also allow them to do these things to us so how much blame can you really put on the other person because you allow these things to happen and that's part of taking account of taking accountability for your own actions is acknowledging that you know what i allowed you to do this to me but i'm going to forgive you and i'm also going to forgive myself for letting you do these things to me you know so i think that's really important for anybody who is in a you know a toxic relationship you really have to take time to yourself to heal you know it's just so important to focus on yourself and not create the same patterns because all you're going to do is get out of one relationship and get to get into another relationship with the same kind of person yes yeah, a different person they have a different face they look different but it's really the same person so that you just keep you know picking the same kind of people and how much time you take to be single is on you, but I definitely think everybody needs to take time, especially when you're in a toxic relationship, to, you know, just heal and grow as a person. And like I said, I'm just speaking from personal experience. Everything I'm saying in this video is just my opinion, and um, like I said, other people might not agree with what I had to say about the whole Jayla situation, but... I really feel like 
the ex-boyfriend had a role to play in why her and Missy and the Betty Sims were no longer friends. Because I think, if I remember correctly, around the time that she started dating him is around the time that she was no longer friends with the Betty Twins. And they also said in their video that she came out of the house for a laptop and he was in the car. And it's just like, you know, he obviously was feeding off her insecurities and manipulating her and like... Like I said, I've been there and I know how hard it is. It's easy for outsiders to look and say like, you need to let that person go. You need to stop talking to that person. But until you're in a situation when you're, yeah, until you're in a situation where you are with someone who's um, mentally abusive, then you don't really know like how hard it is to get away from that person because they know all of the intimate parts of you. They know your flaws, they know your insecurities, and they play on that. And of course, other people can tell you like, that person is not right for you. I don't, and honestly, a lot of times other people don't really realize because that person doesn't act that way around other people. They only manipulate you, you know what I mean? They only feed those thoughts to you and they make themselves seem so perfect to other people. So other people are looking at you like, well, what's wrong with you? When really, that person is, you know, a totally different person behind closed doors. So, and like I said, I've been in that situation. I know how hard it is. And I've lost friends as well from being with, um, you know, in that kind of relationship. So I know how it is. And I think that's why I feel so strongly about it about the situation that's going on. Cause like I said, honestly, I'm not, I don't get involved in other people's drama. I don't care about other people's drama. Like I have my own life, I have my own problems. But yeah, y'all, it's so important to, for one, not settle. For two, know your worth. For three, be self-aware, um, create boundaries in every relationship. Cause otherwise y'all, overextend yourself in areas that you shouldn't be you know and you'll be doing things for people that you shouldn't be doing <clears throat> and i'm not saying this like saying like i got it all together because i'm still working on being better at communicating with people and expressing how i feel and like you know what i mean i'm still a work in progress myself i think it's so important especially when you get into a romantic relationship to create certain boundaries and to express you know how you feel it's so important for us to know our words and for us to also take time to heal after we get out these relationships with these men that ain't shit. You need some time to heal and you know, figure out what went wrong. It's not good to get into, it's just not good to go from one relationship to the next and not take time to get to know yourself, you know? And it's also important to take accountability for your actions. Like if you played a role in a situation, whether, whether that was you allowing that person to have control over you or to manipulate you, you know, you want to acknowledge that and address it because it's never one sided. It could be and we could all sit here and play victim like even with being in a toxic relationship, but there are always signs. There are always um, red flags. And there are always things that we could have done to prevent getting into a situation like that. Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about the situation, what your opinion is, um, if you've ever been in a toxic relationship. Um, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.